Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how you can back up and restore your computer using Banker and Reflect. Now they have version 8, the free version. Uh, they stopped offering the free version now, so I, I'll throw a link in the description from where you can download it from. Really, the free version does all you need. You don't really need to pay for the, the home edition. So, once you open up the program, you, you will notice that all the disks on uh, are checked by default. You want to uncheck all the disks because we're only backing up C, which is the, the drive containing Windows and the programs installed. So make sure only this is selected. Now, when you create a backup, you can back it up to another partition on your computer or to an external drive. Right. Now, if you want to restore your computer, you can't perform the restoration while Windows is running. You're going to have to re and go into the Macro Reflect environment before you go into Windows. So in order to do that, you can you can do one of two things. You can either add Macro Reflect to the boot menu options, or you can create a bootable USB drive uh, to use. So in order to create Macro Reflect as a bootable entry in, in, in your uh, operating system, you can go to other tasks, create rescue media, And click on the first one, Windows Boot Menu Options, and hit Add Boot Menu. Once it's added, the problem is now you have two boot options. One is Windows and the other is Mac Grammar Flight. So every time you start your computer, it's going to give you an option. Do you want to boot into Windows or into Mac Grammar Flight? That's very annoying, so let's get rid of that. Right click on the start menu, go to system, advanced system settings, and then start up in recovery. So you see you have Windows 11 and Mac Grimm Reflect system recovery. Just keep Windows 11 as a default and uncheck the, 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 the listed state items. Hit OK. This way, every time you start your computer, it's going to go right, right into Windows. But if you do restore a backup, it'll reboot your com the computer and boot to the Micro Reflect environment and do the restoration. Now, let me show you how we can create a bootable USB drive. From the same menu, other tasks, create Rescue Media, select the external flat drive. I recommend getting a high speed flat drive. Go get a, one of those cheap ones from, uh, from Amazon or eBay or whatnot. Now, hit build. Confirm that this is used for personal use. Okay. Now go to disk management to, to see how it looks. And here it is. So we notice it's a 512 GB USB drive. Macrium only used 2 GB. So we have 459, 460 GB free, which we can use as a, as a space to actually create images on it. So right click, new simple volume, next, next. Give it a drive letter. So give it any, any letter you want. And change it from NTFS to XFAT. XFAT is better because it does not have any permissions uh, attached to a file. So you can restore them on a different computer or on a different SSD without any permission problems. Give it a name. I will just name it image. Wait a bit. It's formatting it. There we go. Right. Now, to create a backup, 
Let's set this to the refresh over here. See, it was selected here, so we want to uncheck this as well. So notice there's nothing selected except our operating system drive. Click on image this disk, and you want to tell it where to. So I'm going to tell it to back it up to M, the image. And give it any name you want. So you can name it all OK, factory image, or any name you want to assign it to. Now, don't bother with clicking next, because all that has to do is with scheduling. Go back, just hit finish, uncheck the second box, which says save as backup the finishing file. We just want to run the backup now. Hit OK, and the backup will start. So after the backup has been completed, in the future, if you want to restore your computer, you can you, you will you will go to the existing backups tab here. If you don't see the backup image listed, just click browse for an image file and locate the backup file which you created. Now you can see it listed at the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to hit restore, and you'll notice that the source here contains the image file, and the destination is where you want to restore it to. If you don't see that for any reason, you see this black, just hit select a disk, and you want to make sure you're restoring it to the same disk, which is your main drive here. Now hit copy partitions. This way, it's telling us that all the Partitions on the image file are going to be replicated down at the, at the bottom. Just hit next, finish, and you'll be prompted to reboot and restore your computer. You'll just say run, run from Windows PE. All right. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.